It's just another night And I'm staring at the moon I saw a shooting star and thought of you I sang a lullaby by the water side and you Hello. Hi. Hey. Uh, what makes this movie so special and probably a milestone for this one and for future generations? Well, I, I think it is that. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, really, it's a movie for kids and parents, but I feel like it's going to be a movie for, for teens um, where they remember who they were, had a crush on, you know, <laughs> where they were in their lives. Um, it's a date, I, think, I feel like it's a date movie, and it's about love. It's a love story uh, where these kids fall in love with each other's uh, well, I guess they're they're attracted to each other's looks, but like they're attracted to each other's minds too, and with the books that they read. Um, and, and it's a tribute to John Green, who yeah. gives us this story. I think that's the milestone: is his voice and the voice he's given this girl is is so unique, and in a culture that's based on social media yeah. and a lack of connection. Mm -hmm. He's written a love story about communication and the love of books and family who talk about everything together, mm -hmm. including grief and how to deal with it. And so mm -hmm. in, a, in a time where we've forgotten a lot of that, I feel really proud to be part of something where this conversation occurs and hopefully the movie is something that families will go to see together. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a way in with also your own teenage child, yeah, perhaps. Start, you know bring up things, talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. So why do you think we need to realize our time is limited to get the most out of it? Great question. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's one of the big things that, that, uh, that this movie yeah. hits on and John Green talks about. And my character says that um, uh, the universe demands to be noticed and rewards those who are inquisitive about it, and meaning that it, that it, that it, it's important to just step back and notice and just see see what's around you and be in the moment as yeah. opposed to just be thinking about the future or the past and just appreciate what you have right now, uh, especially when you have health uh, in your families and, and in your life because that is everything, you know. Was it ever so intense and painful um, dealing with Hazel that you actually felt you were in a real life situation? Uh -huh. Yes, I mean, un un tragically, we are in a real life situation because we've all known cancer in our families or mm -hmm. with friends. So when working on it, you can't help but know that you're feeling feelings that people you love are going through. As I've shared mm -hmm. with Sam, while we were working on the film, uh, a very dear friend of my son was diagnosed mm -hmm. with cancer. and so. Just knowing that I was playing a parent and this wonderful woman who's his mother was walking through these feelings and, and having to normalize his life and his friends yeah. and the band and keep everything together mm -hmm. while they're dealing with the terror of what was next is just yeah. remarkable heroism. Yeah, it's all around you. I mean, I was following some blogs that, with parents and kids who have cancer while we were on the movie, so I feel like the spirit of those people are in the movie. So. Every time we were doing those scenes, we were carrying with us all the people that we knew and that are out there right now, uh, you know, who are, who are, you know, going through yeah. it. One of the girls who's in the uh, group in, in the film is the most amazing person. She's mm -hmm. 18 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. um, I believe she has stage four brain cancer, and she has the best energy the most hopeful outlook on life uh -huh. and was a joy. Every day she was on set, uh -huh. like everybody lit up. And she's there to enjoy each moment of her life. So we were also with people every, or a yeah, lot of days on the film us. who were just yeah. reminding us to forget the small troubles. Yeah, there are really so many elements to focus on in the movie. Which one do you like people to love and remember? Gosh, well, um, there are tons of good moments. Uh, I, I, I like, one of the quotes that I love is that you, you don't choose whether you get hurt, but you can choose the person that hurts you, which, okay. which is a really lovely idea that you, you, get, you get that choice to fall in love in life. I can see the stars 
from America.